Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Seiko Martini Craft here, watching some more replays from the Team Story Cup. Once again, we have Lucifron as the Blue Terran. This is Hyun, Red Zer. Now, I'm actually a huge fan of this map. I wish I could remember the name of it. Uh, but we've casted two games already between these two, and I'm not going to create any spoilers. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed Lucifron's strategy. Really big drop focus. Hyun going for a very heavy land focus, I guess you could say, really trying to stay out of the skies a lot. Uh, but both of them really started off with a big focus on economy. So we'll speed up a little bit here. We'll see if we get another hatch first. And when the command center is coming down for Lucifer. One thing with its, I can say, difference between the other games, you can tell by how long they are. So there wasn't any outstanding crazy cheese happening from either side. So we should be getting a uh, hatch here pretty soon. There we go. Hatch down, and let's see if it's going to be a command center next. Minerals are starting to pile up. So we've got to assume that's what it's going to be. Yep. Down goes the orbital. Out goes the scout. Let's see if it goes. Yeah, it's going to pull it right on the low ground again. Now, I'm not ballsy enough to start doing this yet. Because it's too often you're going to run into somebody that enjoys making eight links because they think they can win the game and just going to go run into you. That was scouted by Hyun. He knows what's going on. We're not seeing any super fast third hatcheries coming down. Instead, we're seeing one gas happening. Is that just going to be for speed? Or is it just... Yep. Nope. He's just keeping one in there. So it's just to get the speed out right now. Um, and then from there, he's going to move forward. Looks like he did get Marines out just to try to scout the Overlord. Well, he knows where it is. I just can't quite get it. Looks like he found the sweet spot there. Some links coming out. Speed, just about halfway done. Slow back down to regular speed there. Um, we don't see a bunker yet at the front. Second orbital is going to be finishing up here pretty fast. Yeah, there's the uh, there's the bunker. Very, very standard opening. Very similar to what we saw. Oh, here's a change up. We actually see three barracks this time. So it looks like we're going to see a bio play instead of a map. Let's see what he does. It's a part of that. Starting to take his gas again. And it looks like he just really wanted to get down a bit of a faster lair tech. No third base anywhere near for him at this point. Combat shields. So it's combat shields. I'm expecting a much earlier push out of Lucifron. If it's something like Stim, Stim takes a lot longer, so you're not going to see the benefit of it. Whereas something like the combat shields, obviously it's going to be done pretty fast, so you can move out with 10, 12 marines and actually do really, really good against you know, whatever links might be coming at you. A couple of links still just scouting around, nothing else crazy, double gas taken here, no gas is taken here, oh and he's actually got a marauder out as well. So we'll see what kind of pressure comes out of this. Keon on the other side still piling on the drones, Lair should be finishing up here pretty quick. Speed is done, um, but it's very interesting to see no no semblance of draw play, no mech, pure bio. This might throw off uh, this might throw off Hyun quite a bit. This is a much different strategy than what he faced in the last couple of games. Still popping out the SCVs. We don't see a third command center coming down anywhere yet, which has been common through all the games that we've seen. There's been no really, really early uh, pressure to get out that next command center and get the economy lead. Right now, there isn't really any units on the field. He must have seen that army coming because he does have all those queens and a spine at the front ready for it. Let's see what Lucifer wants to do. If he wants to just try to take out the creep and put on pressure and force units. Or that looks like it might be just that. Uh, he might just be wanting to cause these defenses to go down and all the units to be made and you might just come home and oh pardon me. Factory going down but that's probably just so you get out of the starboard. Yep there it is. Big pile of links at the top. There is no bane link nest from what I saw though we're going to see the infestors get morphed soon as pathogen glance is just uh, a little bit past halfway done. Macro hatch before a third hatch. Just before a third hatch. So, very defensive minded from Ken at this point. He got his burrow out nice and fast. I am enjoying watching Zerg do this just to be able to get that map awareness. It's 
very unlikely that a Terran's going to be scanning to take those out at any point, and nobody really makes Ravens right now in the TVZ metagame. Though it would be really effective, particularly if he decides to go into Bane the Grand or something like that. Hmm. Mark me. It's quite a good sized army. He's probably waiting for some medevacs to pop out before he'll push out with that. Just to be able to make sure that he's got great control of the map. Crawlers in different spots. Scout did see the third. He's going to be going for the gas pretty much immediately on that. Uh, so he wants to get out a higher attack. I do like seeing the Infestor play out of him, the early Infestor play. That's also something that I don't see a lot of right now in the uh, in the pro level Zerg metagame. They've been nerfed, so a lot of people think they're just not as good. But if you see someone going mass bio like this, it still does tons of damage and really throws off what kind of plays you now the fact that there is Burrow, um, and I don't know if Lucifer scouted that. That's kind of funny. As, as opposed to going around the thing, let's all squeeze to that spot. He's gonna get this down here just to make sure there's no no sharking going on. Oh, this looks like we might see that play out of gun here, unless he's just trying to get himself a really good hit. Uh, Baneling Nest isn't even finished yet, just lots of links. Links will not break this, but these will break it, definitely. Oh boy, oh he got some. Oh, got very lucky on that one. He ran right into that stand. Uh, he's spreading out already, so he's gonna. He knows that they're there. Oh, that stand doesn't hit it? Uh, but he knows that the infectors are gonna have to wait for that stand to wear out before they move in. Uh, so was one good fungal in there. Loses an investor, losing some wings. He's got a big supply lead right now. It looks like he should be able to get good damage on his base. Great spreads right now. I don't lose the gun. Got a bird though. Uh, she was looking for expensive to lose. That was really, really, really good. Now these units are very well beaten up. They're not fresh out the barracks or anything like that. Um, Oh, he's gonna go and move into the main, that's nice. He should focus down that hatchery. Look at these. Oh, he's just running the drones away to somewhere safe. That makes sense. Okay, the bane wings. Can I hit the medevac? Nope. And it looks like the other drop got taken out as well. So he did manage to take out the third base, which is really effective. Nothing in that, anyways. He didn't get the worker kills, which have helped a lot. But if you look at the vision on the minimap right now, Hyun can see a lot of what's going on as the army moves out. Which is fantastic for him. Uh, Lucifron's just moving over his third base now. There is a lane blocking it. Uh, but losing that third base as the Zerg is, is pretty unfortunate. Kion's still behind in the economy and with the, uh, I don't know if he's behind the economy. Let's see what he's got. Oh yeah, he's behind the economy. Pretty badly too. Upgrades on the way, plus one, plus one, and speed. We've got another Terran movement over here. These things only have plus one, but plus two and plus one armor will be done here pretty quick. He's going to run up here to try to make a snipe. Is there any army in position to deal with this? No, it looks like they're prepared for a drop. Does get the cancel on that, so at least he saves that money. Um, Shark's moving around again here. Drop moving in. Let's see if he pops up to take out that army. Oh, yeah. Nice hit. That's really good call. Drop the queen, gets one of the queens, gets the second queen. Now he's gonna go to work on some of the drops. The army's finally moving in here. These drops are so cheap for Lucifron now. Uh, they've been paying for themselves so well. Third base, just finally going up here. This base is really established. Look at all the mules coming down. Uh, he should probably put up some sort of supply depot wall or something on that side. Oh! Now that's... that's spicy right there. I'm not surprised we get for that. That's gonna probably cost him a lot of his own. Maybe not. Where is he? Well, oh, where is this one down here right now? It's really strange. It cleans up that piece. Oh, there's more of your taking by that. That's an interesting run by. That was really, really effective by that. I didn't think they were going to that. Sharks still moving around the outside. Let's see if we can try to get up a sick combo. Yeah, we got one. 
These limbs are going to get ripped apart pretty fast though. Q2 is on the way for now. Got two minus finish for the turn. Yeah, heal those guys up. And there's another drop in the back row. Looks like it's going to get cleaned up here pretty fast. What is the next tech path though for Hyun? Uh, I'm sure it's just really about trying to secure a third base. But we don't really see what his next step is. Uh, out of the Terran, we see that he's getting into Widow Mines. Lots of production still on Marines. Tanks are on their way here pretty quick from, from the looks of it. Nope, that's just for the Widow Mine damage. Which will deal great with the run buys that are coming out of the Zerg player. Uh, looks like that's just to bust it down and these guys to run in. Now, if those mine shots get off, it's going to be pretty salty. The problem with those mine shots is they do a ton of damage to our mines, so you kind of got to be careful about that. I am impressed how Gun is sticking in here. He's quite a bit behind his flag. His tech, I don't think, is that good. Most of the areas of mine here is not the only place for the drone as well. But he's doing these great little hits. Wow, I think he got almost everybody. What's the kills at? 38 worker kills for Hyun to 3. So those drops from the Lucifron have really not done anywhere near the kind of damage. Now this base isn't even saturated though yet. Uh, he hasn't even moved anything over. And if you look at the main, getting very lined out. Oh, it looks like here comes the worker train. Just be able to take care of that. Another lane run by. Uh, yeah, those guys are going to get the part of the boss guy. That combo hit by 3 people. Pretty oversaturated on this worker line. Um, this one's doing great. This one is doing fine as well. So the Terran's doing okay with their bases. Uh, it won't be a panic to get a fourth up just yet. Big run by on this side. Is he? No, it looks like he was just going for a movement over there. I'm surprised. He probably could have made a few banelings and busted in okay. Uh, that could be unfortunate. Yeah, he didn't hit too many links. Uh, but these are really great. They scale well. They do plenty of damage. So moving those out is always, uh, always a lot of fun. This guy's gonna run straight past. Queen's already in position. He does buy up to the top. Uh, well, the lanes are getting in the time Looked like some banelings tried to run by. I don't think they managed to get too much damage. Uh, Kiana is slowly starting to get his economy back and going again, which is nice. I've gotta take a drink, which is on my moving. Ah, uh, yes. This is a pretty, pretty good looking army coming down here. Looks like he wants to just get the gun eye on his face. Oh, uh, they're banning him. Oh, they don't look like they hit super well. So that was a That was a lot of dead limbs for those guys coming in. I want to see if I can click on some of those and see what the kills they've got. Another Ling Man guy on the side, looks like the Man Sun is about to go down. This is a greedy game. This is a really, really great play out of either player. With the Mac being wow. But this class haven't gotten near Max. Almost a 20 minute mark. Looks like he will save that command center just fine. He's running to finish running to the death. Seven kills, five kills, one kill, six, eight, eleven. Yeah, I worked out alright. See, once again, just maybe a few widow mines over on this side, because this is costing way too much to lose the to keep looking that up. Keon has this he's not using this base for anything. That's that's crazy. So these things are just going to chill out until something goes and kills them. Meanwhile, pretty good targeting down on those banelings. I managed to pick them up before they really took out his piece. He should be able to get the kill on that actually though. Ooh. Oh no. He lost all the other little mines back there. Otherwise that would have been a total wrong. Is he going to focus it down? He might have enough to kill how he should focus it down. Lots of medevacs though, it would be good to try to pick those up. They're all really, really low on the health. Another section of armor. Man, maybe just a handful of needles or something like that. Some corruptors would really help out with that. And yeah. That guy's just on patrol. There hasn't been a run by. A lot of workers. Hasn't been a run by in a while from the Zerg. Uh, 
Gion doesn't have much left. They can plenty of poor observers. They will get cut apart too fast by the Widow Mine and some of the Bios will get out of that. He's trying to get a few Bane himself. He might do the trick. It looks like he did one for another run by Gion over here. Um, but it looks like there's enough to take that out. I like that Lucifron throughout this game and some of the other games doesn't let himself get too distracted by these run buys. We do some damage, but we'll clean that up with this coming out army as opposed to the one that's up here. That's pretty funny. Um, and I suppose that's because Hyun, Hyun never really got ahead in this game. Um, that's actually really, really clever. Oh, excuse me. Good Gaps are being salvaged or taken out. More units in place, doing just fine. Lucifer's got a pretty big lead. Seven and Festus coming out. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the right answer for what's happening right now. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Still no wall off or mines on this side, so this is going to come in and do a bunch of more damage again. Those run bys are cool, I and mean, it's it's doing damage, but he's carrying too so much of his army when he's too far behind. There's already a fourth base looking like it's going to be on its way here pretty soon for Lucifron. He's pretty broke right now on minerals, um, so I'm sure he's not in a position to necessarily go after taking that out too soon, or oh, sorry, putting it into a planetary or some corner. Another really small run by. That's all it seems to be able to afford. A little bit of a low on the action right now. I'm sure that's something that Hyun's really happy with, just gets some breathing room. Uh, but the armies that are out here now are probably enough to, to push in and kill. So the trouble with these run buys is he's doing it a lot. Oh boy. <laughs> well, he got the lanes, but he may have taken out a whole pile of servants. Well, I've been moving those mines forward a bit so they don't run and kill your own crap. More lanes running by. So these little tiny bits, like, cool, but it's, it's not going to be enough. Don't use the mines. I'm sure that you hope. Oh, here's a pretty big hit. Is going to be able to take out the planet here? I don't know. It's a lot of infested turns. Um, they don't get the benefits of uh, upgrades anymore. But nice dodge on the fungals there. That was really good. Really nice. Plant is going to stay alive though. He's just dropping those so that he can achieve with all the contestants. So. Still no fourth base. Looks like there's a drop here they can hear. It should be able to be a little bit of distraction. I mean, it used to be a handful of infestors and get yourself out of any situation. But now it seems Lucifer's got a pretty good answer for whatever it is that Keon's throwing at him. Fortunately, his economy isn't super, super great. He keeps losing stuff to his run buys. At this point, because of this, I would have thrown down like a bunker. Maybe a bunker and a few marines, and it just to deal with this. Oh, hit those medevacs. Yeah, you could. So the medevacs will have a video, so that's not funny. This where it ends. Looks like there's still pretty good energy on these guys. Um, but that just runs out. Where's moves? Moves never run out. Supplies are, are equal, surprisingly enough. 44 links on the way out now. There's Young. That should be able to deal with most of the stuff that's going to be out on the side right now. I don't know how Lucifer let his supply lead fall that far behind. Say the Empower the Investors. Free units. Another link run by. Uh, he does have these mines up here. I'm surprised he's not running in one or two links first because he knows the mines were doing the damage. 
I don't know why some of these shoot and some of them don't shoot. Just duds. Lift the command center. Oh wow. It's funny enough, I don't think that will be enough to take it out. 32 zeros on the counter. That looks like you got some guns. I don't know if the planet is going to go down, it's not apparent yet. Yeah, that's right. How are the investors? Oh look, the lens is still there. Who's the planet? I love you, but you're, doing, you're not doing it right. Now you've lost the supply lead. More lanes are just going to run around again. Actually, no, I've been in this... No, yeah, run, run everything away now that another run by is coming. That seems about right. Interestingly enough, Yan's still only on one base, so it's not like he's sitting pretty on all these things. But his run by his events, so many kills. Let's check the resource lost. 115 worker kills. Using my voice, that's so sad. I can't remember the last time I was in I've played in some pretty funky games. Around. I I don't think that was a good ch unless he's trying to hide this. I don't think that's a good cho choice for a fourth base. I mean, this one at least has creep around it to be able to help out with. Uh, looks like Lucifer's just gonna push for some stuff here. He's gotta get something done. These investors haven't recovered all their energy from taking out that planetary. It probably would've been really good to push after that planetary went down, just after all the energy was cost. Oh, here's can't really go after those. Well, Lucifer's down to 50 food here. Good position there. We're gonna go ahead just two minutes, that's really smart. Interesting. I wonder if most of the kids' food is right now in the since he's kind of lost all his life. It's getting pretty, pretty down to the wire here. I think this is going to be a music one. All the workers moving over now. This base is going to drop some mules and get happy. Oh, and a GG from, from Lucifron. So, Hyun managed to pull it off. Long, crazy game. Uh, perhaps Apollo was wrong. But, man, just... Just being able to deflect these runbys alone. But I don't care. Put down two barracks and a bunker and a tank and or something. You lost so much there. 128 workers killed. Anyways, I learned something from that game. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll talk to you soon.